Hey kids, it's so great to be back with you again. Wherever you find yourself, we are excited. Plus, I brought a brand new friend with me today. Hi kids, my name is Bia. I'm so excited to be here and it's going to be so much fun. I can't wait. Woo! So kids, we've got an awesome word, worship, game, memory verse and what else do we have planned? Joke of the week and so much more. I'm so excited. So kids, get ready because we're going to have so much fun. Let's go. Woo! Hey, you know what this means? It is memory verse time and we are in a brand new month called Legacy where we are talking everything about who? The big HS, right, come on, I call it HS, but it's actually Holy Spirit. So if you did not know, God is a trinity, which means he's three beings. So it is God, Jesus, and Holy Spirit. And we're going to talk about Holy Spirit in this month. But first, before we get into all of the Bible stories, the games, the jokes, the, you know, all of the extra fun stuff that we have planned, we're going to look at the memory verse for this month. So this is Romans 8 verse 14, and it reads as follows. For as many are led by the Spirit of God, these are sons of God. Wow, kids. This memory verse encourages me so much. Because if you are led by the Spirit of God, it means that you are sons hmm, or daughters of God. Now, what does this actually mean, Pastor Yandre? I mean, this is a very good question, kids. I mean, look at the speech bubble, right? What does it actually mean? So, this means that when Jesus died and he rose back up from the dead and he went to heaven, he gave us a comforter and someone to help us. And he gave us and left us Holy Spirit. Now, Holy Spirit comes and lives in our hearts, lives in our being of who we are. And you know, Holy Spirit talks to us, he comforts us, which means that he leads us in our daily lives. So, let me give an example. If you, for instance, want to help your mom and dad, you know, or you want to do a good act, but sometimes you're like, oh, I don't want to do it. But deep down inside, you feel like, man, I need to do this. You hear that voice that says, go and help that person. Read your Bible. Go and pray for that person. Tell that friend of yours, hey, Jesus loves you. That is Holy Spirit talking to you and leading you. So this scripture talks about Romans 8 verse 14 that those who are led by Holy Spirit are sons of God. So when you give your life to Jesus, you're already part of his kingdom. But if you're led by God's Spirit, then it means that God has affirmed you as being part of his family, that you're a son and a daughter and that he gave us Holy Spirit to help us and to guide us. So kids, Right now, why don't you close your eyes? I'm going to close mine. I really feel we need to pray and invite Holy Spirit just to, you know, work in and through our senses in this week. Holy Spirit, thank you that you lead and guide each one of us, that you lead and guide me, that you lead and guide these children watching right now in our daily lives and actions and decisions and everything of our life. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you walk with us hand in hand and that we are not doing life alone even when we feel scared or we don't know what to do thank you holy spirit that you always speak to us and jesus thank you that we can listen and obey holy spirit as well and that he's there to comfort us and lead us in us through this week in jesus name we pray amen right kids let's get into the next section hey kids it's your favorite joke of the week teacher and i'm back with a Super cool, Jake. Let's get ready. Let's get ready. <coughs> what do you call a boomerang that won't come back? A stick. <laughs> yeah, a stick. <laughs> so, guys, I know that wasn't the best joke, but it was pretty funny. So, go tell mama, go tell papa, go tell everybody. Bye, kids. So, kids, now we're doing worship. Everyone stand. You and you. Come on, stand, and let's praise the Lord. Out to the floor, it's time to celebrate. You steady me, slow and sweet. We sway, take the lead, and I will follow. Finally ready. Tired of my hope seems lost 
kids, I hope that you all enjoyed worship. I really felt God's presence and I hope that you all did as well. So today I'm going to be doing an object lesson on what the Holy Spirit does in our lives. So for this object lesson, you guys are going to be this glass. So before we give our lives to Jesus, we are like this glass and we are empty. So here we are, we are these glasses before we give our lives to Jesus. But now when you become a follower of Jesus, you get filled with the Holy Spirit. So this water here that we're filling you represents the Holy Spirit. And we'll be using two glasses for this one. So as you can see here, we are filled with the Holy Spirit. But sometimes we're not just filled with the Holy Spirit. Sometimes we can become, for example, bitter when we don't always get our way or things don't go the way we want. So we can start becoming bitter and filled with other things. And sometimes we can be angry, so you can be filled with anger. Maybe when your friend starts spending time with someone else or when your brother or sister takes something that belongs to you. So as you can see here, we are filled with nasty things. But the good news is, is that as we be filled with the Holy Spirit, again, all those nasty things will be replaced with the good things, will be replaced with the Holy Spirit. kids I hope that you enjoyed that object lesson and I hope that you learned about what the Holy Spirit does in our lives which is to make wise choices love others and to do God's work so I hope you all enjoyed that now over to the word hey boys and girls so get ready for today's big idea now drum roll DJ Holy Spirit helps us to do God's work are you ready because I am so ready let's get into the Bible story Have you ever been part of a team? Maybe a sport team or a school team. Maybe you sing in the choir or maybe you serve at a church and you're part of a church team. Well, today's story is about a very special team that Jesus had. Do you know what Jesus' 12 closest friends were called? I'll give you a minute. Duh. Yeah, yes, disciples! Well done! So Jesus had 12 disciples and I'm going to tell you a story about that right now. So Jesus had a team. It was made up of 12 people and they were called his disciples. But one of the team, his name is Judas, he, um, he decided to leave the team. So the guys decided, this is after Jesus had died now and resurrected, they decided we need someone to replace Judas in our team. So they look at everyone who had been with them throughout the whole journey of Jesus' life. And they had two friends, one called Barsabbas and one called Matthias. And they decided, we need to pick one of these two guys to replace Judas on our team of disciples. Because as disciples, we've got the very special job of taking the news of Jesus to the entire world. So, we need a full team. Do you ever think, how do they make decisions back in the day? Did they scissor, paper, rock? Scissor, paper, rock? Did they pull names out of a hat? How did they do it? I'll tell you. They did this thing called casting lots. And it's sort of like rolling a dice. The reason they did this is because they believed that if you were rolling a dice to get the answer, only God could give the answer. There's all up to chance. There's no one who can manipulate it, who can force their own opinion. There's no one who can fake it, lie or steal or do anything in the situation. It's only the providence. It's only God's direct influence who could give them the answer. So the disciples decided, God must know. Let's pray about it. So they prayed. Who should join our team? Should it be Barsabbas or Matthias? They prayed and they prayed and then they decided, let's cast lots. They got their lots, their die. And the lot fell on Matthias. 
So he was chosen to be one of the team. Yeah, Barsabas, he wasn't kicked out. He was still part of the greater team, but he wasn't included as one of the 12 disciples. Just like Matthias was picked to be one of the 12, but Barsabas was still on the team, God is inviting you to be on his team too. God says there is space for everyone on the team of God. When we're looking at legacy and what it means to leave a legacy and have a legacy, you're included. I'm included. My kids are included. My kids' kids one day are included because it's for all of us. Because of the legacy that Jesus left, we all get chosen as part of the team. How cool is that? No one is missing out on becoming part of God's team. Catch! You're a part of the team. I'm a part of the team. And let's go as a team and make a difference for Jesus. Think who can you ask to join the team? Have you got friends or a family member, someone you can share this link with so they can hear that they get to be part of Jesus' team too? So Holy Spirit helps us to do God's work. Just like when they cast lots, it wasn't them picking whether it be Matthias or Barsabas to join the team. It was actually Holy Spirit deciding for them. In this week ahead, you can let Holy Spirit help you make decisions, like sharing this episode with a friend. You don't know who God wants to join the team. The Holy Spirit guides us to make wise choices. So let's trust that this week we'll have a great week and we can't wait to see you next week for our next lesson on legacy living. Have a great day. Bye. Oh, wow, kids. Wasn't that such an amazing message? Now, as you know, we are currently in the series called Legacy where we are talking about Holy Spirit. Now, I love being led by Holy Spirit. And I want to tell you that if you do not experience Holy Spirit, you haven't given your life to Jesus, you haven't told Jesus, hey, come and live inside of my heart, I want to give you the opportunity right now to do that. If you are there and you want to give your life to Jesus, close your eyes and pray this prayer after me. Jesus, will you forgive me of my sins? Will you come and live in my heart? Because I cannot live without you. Father God, thank you that you love me and that you sent your son Jesus to die on the cross for me because you love me that much. Holy Spirit, I invite you, come and live inside of my heart and use me to advance God's kingdom. God, thank you that you love me and that I'm your son or your daughter. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Wow, kids, if you've just given your life to Jesus, we really wanna celebrate with you and say, hey, welcome to the family. And then please let us know if you have done so. Your parents can email us at kids at victorychurch.org.za. You can also phone the church reception. We would love to hear from you and celebrate with you and give an official like, hey, welcome to the kingdom of God and to his family. Have a great week. Wow, kids and Bia, wasn't it such a great Bible story to know how Holy Spirit helps us do God's work. Even helps you and it helps me out. Even you kids, that is so encouraging that we're not even in lonely days. Like Holy Spirit helps us to do even what God wants to do. I think that's pretty cool. Yo, Yandre, it's so amazing. So yeah, thanks for being with us. See you next week. Same place, same time. Bye. Bye.